Hey guys, it's Karis and Hunter here. We're going to show you the bird dog. It's great for core and hip stability. First, we're going to start off in quadruped, which Hunter is in right now. All that means is hands and knees. You want to keep that box position. So hands are under the shoulders, knees are under the hips. You can kind of see that box right there. From there, you're going to kind of press out of the hands so that the arms are straight, not locked, but straight. He's relaxed up here in the upper portion of the back. Then he's going to get a little bit of a pelvic tuck basically bringing the belly button up into the spine to get that lower abdomen engaged. From here, we're just gonna start with the leg. So he's gonna extend the left leg back towards the back wall, hold, then bring everything back in. Well, what we wanna watch for is that heel never goes above the glute. If it goes above the glute, we're gonna get into the low back. We don't want that, we want it to stay in the glutes. He's gonna extend, come back in. Now we're gonna add the right arm. So he's gonna extend left leg, right arm, hold for a count of two, then bring everything back in. Right now he's showing you the a little bit harder version where we float the arm and leg. When you start, I'd recommend going out, hold, come back in, rest the knee in the hand. Do about 10, then we're gonna go and switch sides. So now he's gonna go left arm, right leg. We extend out, keeping that heel flexed, squeeze, bring everything back in. Good, he's gonna inhale, exhale, good. Making sure you squeeze the glute of the leg that's up. The leg that's down, so for him is left, is stabilizing here. He's also keeping that head in neutral, so it's not tucked or extended up. Everything just stays in that flat line. And again, you'll go through about one set of 10 on both sides. 